All right, guys, I am back in North Carolina. I have myself a wonderful January day to be out in the ocean. Got my buddy Eric Williams right here behind the console. January is kind of a slower month of fishing, but uh, black sea bass are pretty much one of the better targets around here. They're a very easy fish to catch, catch a bunch of them. Uh, you know, just sometimes locating size is really the key. We just left 50 degree water on the beach and we've made it out to about 62 degree water. Let's cross some fingers and hopefully find some good fish here. I think we're gonna just stick with jigs and you know, try to keep it simple. That's one of the beauties about this type of fishing. It's just kind of simple. You don't have to do too much homework. Just get out to the depth, get out to some structure and have a good time. So let's see what we can do here. Gonna throw some jigs to start, get a couple fish in the cooler and take it from there. Griff, you were shivering on the way out here and now you're you're sitting pretty like a under some palm trees. All right, I'm gonna start out with this right here. It's as simple as it gets. It's my Akuma Komodo. It's got a three ounce jig head on here, five and a half inch paddle tail. Uh, sea bass aren't particularly finicky. I gotta let my hands kind of warm up a little bit though. Kind of drifted off of it, so I'll move this a little closer. One thing the spot lock doesn't account for is just yeah, it's like producers in the back, spot locks up front. Yeah, so it's not perfect. I don't think it'll matter that much though. Front. Let's see what we got here, fellas. All right, first bite. Hopefully, it's something decent. Uh -huh. Easy does it. This guy's 14 or so. All right, let me keep the first one just in case that's the only fish we catch for the day. <laughs> really running high on optimism. All right, all my fish I like to bleed out, so that's what we're gonna do here. Um, I'm not gonna show this part on camera these days as things are quite sensitive. One of the things I also like to do with when it comes to sea bass fishing, I like big profiles, six to seven inches. 15 inch sea bass can eat a seven inch profile, no problem. So it'll let me weed out those 12, 11 inch fish a little easier. So it should be an easy limit this time of year. Oh, you've already got one for one, so that's pretty good. You on again? Yeah. <laughs> but on a January day, that ain't a bad time. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna drop down some water. About 15. Let's hold that fish up here. That's Let's a glow jig. Get him closer, closer to the camera. See that? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, there's gonna be bigger ones. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh. That's one. Like a <laughs> we got a nice one here. This is one of those. Good black sea bass right there. <laughs> awesome. You think that was 20? It's probably 19. Yeah. This guy's about 18 and a half. I think it's just 24, but not from these parts. Is that a lizard fish? No, pick that up. Oh, it's that little almica. All right. Never caught one that small. Probably tastes like a pompano that size. I'm not going to lie. Even these big plastics, you get a lot of short strikes, and then you got to wait for one that's definitely sizable. Do you have a 
A paddle tail. Paddle? Yeah. It's a six inch version of what I gave you. Got here, switch back to Roscoe. Yeah, well, no, this is a larger knife jig. Oh, I'm following them up About 15 or so. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, dear. That was what he's eating. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's a big bait for them, yeah. huh? Yeah, he just ate that, too. See, he's a six inch bait, no problem. Wow. This jig head's a hoagie barbarian jig head. It has a 10 0 hook on it. Nice one. Yeah, that was on the. Roscoe? No, the. That pencil jig. Probably an AJ the way it's fighting. Big Amica, Big Amica. That's not bad. Keep this guy. It's a decent one right there. All right, sea bass and Almaco. Eric just got an Almaco jack towards the surface, trigging pretty aggressively. So maybe I'll do one or two more sea bass and then. Try to experiment a little bit with some metal jigs. It could be mackerel out here. It's a little on the colder side, but you never know. A lot of my sea bass are starting to hit on the retrieve now, so they're pretty fired up. Just nice, nice and slow retrieve, rather. They like that paddle tail. Yeah. Uh, large ones like that paddle tail. Yeah, let me give you another jig head. Dude, if you want it, just grab it. Here. And then that one on, yeah. up there. Nice. Eric's getting a little more diversity on the metal, it seems like. So we're allowed seven sea bass per person. We'll probably grab our limit here and then maybe just poke around, and try some spots. It's kind of what's probably going to end up happening, or maybe long it start drifting this fishing the edges see if we can find some other fish this area we're fishing seems to just be covered in sea bass a lot of that a lot of the winter stuff is like that too for the most part but for january i'll take easy sea bassing any day oh yeah i dropped a nice one. Oh, on the retrieve that might be a jack dude yeah i think so too Seen some jacks out here in the mix too. Yeah. Jack? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Well, it's got him a jack. I got me the jack. As soon as I said that, <laughs> they weren't hitting that. Oh, I lost mine. No. Dang. Come off right in there, buddy. So, this is an Almaco jack. Um, they're pretty good to eat. Did you keep one? No, not yet. I thought they were pretty decent. Not quite as good as Pompano, but they are pretty good at this size. You know what? I'm going to keep just one. Let's give it a try. Most of that sea bass is going to go in the freezer. So one this size will make good dinner on the pan. And the rest of the sea bass will put in the freezer. But yeah, they got this big bar over their head and they got this particular dorsal fin a little bit different than the AJ. Not quite as good as the Yellow Jacks in Florida, but these guys are good too. And this rod's a Jigging World Black Widow. It's got that acid wrap spiral guide. Spiral guides, it's a really nice jigging rod, especially for the lighter stuff. Is this a flounder? No way. Feels like it. Alright guys, it's a flounder. I can't keep him, even though that's a gulf flounder. One of the species that are not considered threatened. 
that would be a nice one to have for the breadcrumbs. But he's got to go back. Starting to get a lot of small ones too now. So nice. We got a better one here. This one hit it on the retrieve actually. That's an over. Right, that was on the retrieve right there. So got a lot of Look, a lot of sea bass under the kayak, I'm saying. There's a lot of sea bass under the, the boat right now, but doing a nice little steady retrieve. Seems to be getting a little better bite here and there. So let's keep this one. I think when they get this big hump on their heads, that's when they change, um, I think they change sexes from, I wanna say female to male. Eric wants a big bite for something he can't keep before we move. Hard-headed man, I'm hard-headed. Yeah, he's, just, he's not interested in catching these little silly fish on jigs. <laughs> he's a meat man right here. You can't take the jig out of me. Just how some people are, huh? Man, that wasn't a big fish at all and he swiped at that seven inch jig. Ooh, this one try to. Ooh, we got a hammer. Oh no! Yeah. Pulled him on the seven, man. Right, He's back for it. He's back for it. I don't know, dude. That's a good one. Gosh. Feel, feel like there's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep him. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Let's keep this guy. That means one more for the box. Then we're done with the sea bass. Unless it's a uh, something different. Eric's boat is a 22 foot Nautic Star. Very nice, comfortable platform. Get out of here. Enjoy a beautiful day in January. I'm very thankful to be out on such a beautiful day in January because they're few and far in between. <laughs> Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> I think a lot of these, like 15, just hold on as long as they can until the, yeah. the depth change starts to give them the bends. That's every bit of, what, 18? Yeah. It's a pretty good one right here, guys. I think this is the last one of these we're gonna keep for the day. Seven inches. It really has been working well. All right, that's a, oh, it was on a seven inch shad. It's the last one for our limit. So now I went up to seven inch profiles. I seem to be getting uh, you know, 17, 18 inches now. All right, so Elias actually pulled them all out and, and made sure it was really But I uh, think. I got your grouper. <laughs> that's what it looks like the way it's pumping. We're way off the structure too. Nice. I think it's a shark actually. Second drag? Yeah. It's probably your cobia, honey. I think it's a shark. Have you seen it? I'm going with shark. That's how the cobia worked out last time. Alright. You were free drifting there? Yeah. It's gotta be a shark. Well, I'm marking fish on the bottom. Getting the visual there. Looking sharky. It's looking pretty sharky. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Alright guys. Play with fire. Oh boy. 
I want that jig head back. All right, I got the pliers. I got them. Just tug them. You hang on there. Lift it up. That cartilage is not very forgiving. It's even more fun in the kayak. Sorry, pal. I think I was an Atlantic shark, no shark. Oh, there you go. Are there sharks still around? Apparently there's a couple. Sharks eat plastics and artificials occasionally, but I'm sure the more bait I fish, the more likely I'd see the sharks. So that was nice. All right, it's still quite early. What we're gonna do now is just move over to maybe some ledges. I don't know. We really aren't gonna, we're gonna just spend an hour or two just checking stuff out and then probably call it early, an early day. So there's not too much we can do out here in the winter. Um, Kobe is closed. Uh, groupers closed, red snappers closed, so it's really black sea bass, grunt, and trigger fish. Flounders closed, yeah, pretty much all of them are closed. So get your limited black sea bass and just maybe have a little fun poking around. Maybe we'll, if we stumble into some AJs, we'll play with those for a little bit. Um, I don't think the water is warm enough to see mackerel towards the beach, so so uh, yeah, let's uh, that was a good start though. Can't ask for much more this time of year, so uh, let's see what else we can find out here right now. All right, now we're just cruising around, just stopping on stuff we see that looks interesting on the bottom. But so far, it's been all sea bass that we've been catching on it, but maybe we'll find something that's a little different. Totog would be on these sorts of ledges too. Sheep's head. Don't have bait for sheep's head either. Uh -huh. Nothing. <laughs> but sheep's head would be on these ledges too. Just to name a few fish we, can ca we can't catch that could be around. <laughs> it's definitely more structure there. That would be where we originally went across. Maybe it's a grunt. I got a grunt. All right. Something different, guys. Yeah, all right, so we came, came off the heavier structure, just got a white grunt. This is Eric. Cool. Sweet. You know, I was catching a lot of these in the Florida Keys. I've never seen them this size near the beach. Maybe in deeper water, those white grunts get bigger. Drifting this Lord Jensen crocodile spoon. Just ran over something. We're not even going to bother with the troll motor. If it's more sea bass, we're just going to keep moving. Probably will be, but we'll see. Beautiful day out here though, man. Great day to be out in the ocean. That was good. Grunt? Maybe. See, see my grunt, see my grunt. Oh yeah, that's white grunt, man. It's got all these blue marks on his head. Don't let him go though, I got enough meat. All right guys, we are headed in right now. Uh, that was good winter fun. Uh, sea bass is as simple as it gets. Check the video's description links, everything used. Um, yeah, small strategies, maybe using a bigger lure for a larger fish, but they're pretty aggressive fish for the most part. Any good looking profile they'll eat. Um, so we're allowed to keep seven per day. We hit that limit, no problem. Uh, it seemed like using seven inch baits was uh, even better than six inch. Six inch, I was still catching 14, 15 inches. As soon as I went up to seven inches, most of the fish were about 16 inch plus. So, um, so I definitely, you definitely get some bigger size going with those seven inch baits. Basically fishing, yeah, cobia lures and big striper lures at that point. But yeah, that worked pretty well. Check out Eric's channel over there. He also does real estate in this uh, North Carolina region. So if you're looking for uh, commercial property or residential land, land, all that give stuff. Give me a call. Yeah. I met him through purchasing my own house through him, so he worked very hard. So, uh, yeah, and I think that's all it's going to be for today. Um, so hopefully we'll see more diversity, more opportunity as winter goes on, but uh, yeah, that's not bad. So, all right, appreciate everyone watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.